What's it like for you to see young musicians and students like me and Monica before? Like, what's it like for you to see us being inspired by your music and music and jazz in general, and watching us like grow and develop with it? Well, it's you know, it reminds me that life is a continuum, because when I was your age, I was listening to people like Fats Waller and Louis Jordan and Coleman Hawkins and. So I life is a continuum, and thank God for that, because there has to be something good in this world, this, and music is one of them, and jazz is one of them, from my point of view. So I, now I would you see I have to be careful what I'm saying to you. What's good to me may be bad for somebody else. That's the way the world is. I can't help that. I just have to go by what's positive, good, helpful to me. And that's what jazz has been. It's, it's been an excellent, and it's an excellent uh, model for um, a person being serious and trying to accomplish. As you know, you have to practice your music. And what you're reaching for is something of a high nature. That's what you're reaching for. So the whole idea of jazz and music, you're very fortunate. You're very fortunate that you were born with this tendency to play music. I mean, it's almost a blessing. It's a gift that was bestowed on you, like it was bestowed on me, like it was bestowed on Monica. I want to play music. I want to do it. It's, it's, it's great. And uh, you, so you should, number one, consider yourself very fortunate. And number two, uh, live the best uh, life that you can live. Because you're on the right track, as far as I can see. I mean, you're on the right track. Okay. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Um, I mean, I just want to say also, I saw you at um New Jersey Pack a few years ago, and you said you had a quote at the end of it, and I had written down. Um, you said at the end of the show, "There's nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fear." If you can look the man in a mirror in the face, then everything's going to be okay. I'm not afraid of anything. And I have that on my at home. I'm from New Jersey, actually, and at home I have that blown up, a big picture of that, with those lines written, I, blown up right above my bed, and I look at that every morning, and I just think that's what I want to do with my life. Well, I'm so happy uh, to hear that because that's what I don't have it written on my wall, maybe I should, but that's what I want to do. That's, that's universally true. And, uh, you know, life goes by so fast and you don't get it. I, I forgot that I said that, but uh, I have often, uh, during my concerts, tried to um, have a little message at times, you know. So um, that's great. That's great. That's exactly what life is. I don't care what's happening around you. You have to know you're doing what you want to do, knowing that you're doing something. If that's what you feel, if that's what the guy looking back at you says, okay, do that. That way, whatever happens in the world, and there's everything going on as we know in this world constantly every minute doesn't affect you. Doesn't affect you. It's about you. It's about you playing your horn. It's about you doing what you want to do in a positive way. So I think that was a very good, you know, uh, uh, aphorism or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm very happy that you uh, 
think of that. I that's what I want to do. I haven't got it written down, but I'm, it's committed to memory. But um, as I said, and I picked it up right. You've been blessed, and uh, just keep the tradition going. And uh, someday people will look at you and say, "Wow, I heard this guy play, and now I want to play." <laughs>